this project stemmed back from a couple years ago when I read the article, uh, Atomic Poetry. And I thought, hey, what a great thing to do. If we can get the kids reading and writing more in science class, we're going to help them with literacy skills as well as any science skills. Uh, we had the students write their own poems and had an opportunity today for them to share those poems aloud. I just like brainstormed some topics and I just let it flow from there. Teaching geology in San Jose, <laughs> you should stay and learn all day. I think uh, mixing up poetry and science is like valuable and like you need um, literature in most of your core classes. We've been very impressed with the students. Most every student has written a poem. Oh, hey there, America. Didn't see you there. I will have I got a poem for you. Here it goes. My, co my poem is called Adam. That's A-D-A-M, not A-T-O-M. Subtle but vital, essential for living. The caring breeze of life is giving. Some say Mars is our second Earth, but will it ever be of the same worth? To be a full-time planet, they said you must orbit the sun. But space, time, warps, and ripples. Be it your game. Like a human, I am surrounded by negative feelings. In the inside, I have neutral and positive feelings. Water and global warming just makes it hotter. Grinding something down is called erosion. In the ice age, everything was frozen. And every year they come out swinging and, and do some really great work. Just bringing writing into science, poetry analysis into science, helps deepen students' literacy experiences across the curriculum. I may be small, but one thing is for sure. I am important. I matter. This is my deal wrap. I hope you learned something because next time this happens, you won't see me coming. Oh.